Hey everybody, welcome to HC Piano. This is Zach, and in today's video, I'll show you how to play Halo by Beyonce. So, this part one video, I'm going to show you the introduction, which sounds like this. Alright, so that's the intro. For the rest of the song, head on over to hcpiano.com. But before I, I teach you this, I have a question for you. So Beyonce, she's a huge star. And before she was a solo artist, she was in Destiny's Child. Now, embarrassingly enough, Destiny's Child were like my guilty pleasure when I was growing up. So my question to you, and you can leave the uh, comments in the, in the section below, comment section below. Um, it's what's your guilty pleasure? What's that one song or that one band or artist that you don't want anybody else knowing you like? But really, it's, uh, it's your jam. Let me know. It'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see what what people are listening to in secret. All right, so this intro. First of all, this is a great intro because it sets you up with all the chords for the rest of the song. So these chords I'm going to show you now are the same for the verse. They're the same for the pre-chorus, the chorus, everything. All comes from these four chords. So first of all, I'll show you the four chords. They make up the first half of the intro. So we have an A major chord. So our left hand plays an A with our pinky, and our right hand plays E with the thumb, A with the pointer finger, and C sharp with the ring finger. Then all together, A major. That lasts for two measures. Then we move up to a B minor. So our left hand plays a B with our ring finger, and our right hand, we have an F sharp in the thumb, a B in our middle finger, and our pinky plays a D. So there we go, B minor. So let's look at that transition between the two. Here's our A major chord to the B minor. Then we go to an F sharp minor. So our left hand again has an F sharp with our thumb. And our right hand plays F sharp with the thumb also. A with our pointer finger. And C sharp with our ring finger. So together. Again for two measures. And then we finish up with this D. So left hand D with our pointer finger. And our right hand, we don't really move much at all from the last chord. We just substitute this C sharp for a D in our pinky. So we go from our F sharp minor chord to a D. So the F sharp and the A stays where it is. So here's that transition. Really simple. Really like the uh, the effect that it has. Great, uh, great voice in there. Adds to so much. Uh, adds so much drama to it. All right, so let's look at those four chords in sequence. They last two measures each. So I count it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Really easy, and I'm sure you'll uh, you'll pick that up straight away. So that's the four chords for the entire song. The second half of this intro is where it gets a little difficult. So our left hand does the same thing. Just holds those big long notes out. And our right hand takes the chord and it breaks it up like this. So 
super slow, those notes with uh, the same fingering as the chord, so C sharp with our, our ring finger, C sharp to an E, to an A, to an E. One more time, C sharp, E, A, E. So you do that three times. One, two, three. And then to finish off, C sharp, E, B, with our middle finger, C sharp, with our ring finger. So with the left hand and, and pretty slow, So that's the chord of A. Then we go to a B minor. Remember, left hand is the same as the uh, the first half as the intro. So we follow that similar rhythmical pattern of eighth notes. And here's the notes and the fingerings. D with our pinky to F sharp with our thumb to B with our middle finger, to F sharp with our thumb. And we do that three times. Twice, three times. Then, here's the most difficult part of the entire song, a triplet. If you haven't encountered a triplet before, I can tell you they are absolutely everywhere in music. And once I show you this, you'll never, you'll never ignore them again. They'll stick out like a, like a sore thumb. This is a triplet, and it makes the sound of the word triplet. Triplet, if you broke the word up rather than triplet, triplet, triplet. And you do them faster, you do them slower. Triplet, triplet. So let me show you the notes of this. Well, actually, and I, I'll tell you why it's called a triplet. Triplets are three notes that last the value of one. So they're really fast because they take up the value of where usually there'd be one note for the beat of that note. Now there's three. So so rather than one, two, three, four, triplets would be one, two, three, four. So three notes for the value of one note. Okay, so the notes for this triplet, and this is the only time this happens in the entire song, is B with our middle finger, C sharp with our ring finger, and back down to a B. Triplets, you've got to make them nice and even. And after the triplet, we have an A with our pointer finger to a G sharp with our thumb. So let me play you those two measures of B minor with the left hand, nice and slow. You hear that triplet? So after the triplet, there's this, there's this awkward jump where we take our finger four and we move it right next to our thumb for the next set of notes for the F sharp minor chord. So, finger four, A, C sharp with the thumb, F sharp with the pointer finger, back down to the thumb. And we do that three times. Twice, three. And to finish that sequence off, we have A with our ring finger, B with our pinky, back down to an A, and then a G sharp with our middle finger. So together, it sounds like. Okay, so I just wanna go take a little step back and show you how we get from that triplet B minor section into that F sharp minor, because it is a bit of a, a tricky jump. So I'm just gonna do it slow. Then you jump down there. 
So you may want to practice that a few times. And slow. Okay. Then after you've got that done, we finish off the intro with a D chord. So point your finger on a D in the left hand. And our right hand, we have A with finger four, our ring finger, to our thumb with a D, F sharp with our pointer finger, back down to a D. You know the pattern, we see this all throughout this intro, so, so it should set in uh, fairly easy, it's pretty memorable. So, three times, one, two, three, and then the very last thing of this intro is a, a nice walk down A with our point of, uh, ring finger, A with the ring finger, G sharp with our middle finger, F sharp with our pointer finger, E with our thumb. So those two measures of D sound like this. One more time slower. the hardest part of the entire song let me play those two sections together for you so we have the the first half with those big open chords and then the second half is that classical sounding riff i'm going to use the pedal for this and the reason i'll use the pedal is because it it glues everything together and it just gives a nice wash over all the notes you play but here's a tip with the pedal treat the pedal like breathing so when you speak naturally Every time you finish a sentence or you go to speak a new phrase, you would take a breath in. So you talk, 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 and then you breathe. And then you talk some more. Treat your pedal like that. So every time there's a new musical phrase, lift your foot off the pedal and put it back down. Otherwise, it all ties everything together and it sounds very muddy and, and murky sounding. And that, you, you want to try and avoid that. So here's the intro with the pedal. So, fantastic job for getting this far. That's the hardest part then. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to play the pre-chorus and the chorus. We already know how to play the verse because it's exactly the same as those four chords that open the song. So, you can find the next section and the whole uh, song run through at hdpiano.com. But before you head over there, let's make sure we're connected on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can find us uh, using the at hdpiano. And if there's any songs you want us to teach, then uh, use the hashtag HDRequests. And I'm sure someone in our team would uh, love to teach your favorite songs. Uh, remember to share and like and subscribe on YouTube. And, uh, and tell your friends. Tell your friends how you're learning piano. And, and uh, yeah, let's see what, what they would like to hear as well. Okay, so great job. See you over at HDPiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson. Good job.